Hi, this is Thomas J. Seymour Photography, and this is how I process my Star Trail images. So here we are in Adobe Bridge for CS6. So here are my raw images. You can see here with the first image I've highlighted, this is how I typically like to frame my shots in camera. I like to jump up the ISO nice and high so we can figure out whether or not I like the composition and then make quick changes. You can see here that this was only a five second exposure that I lit up with the red LED of my headlamp. I like the red because it's got a nice contrast between the sky and the rock. It's kind of got a Superman feel to it almost. Anyway, um, here's the first image of the sequence. You can see that I shot it at f4, ISO 400 for 254 seconds. Uh, I'd shot a previous Star Trail sequence, so I knew that my settings were going to approximately be that. Um, I had it saved in my timer remote that I used to control the shutter with the camera. The shutter of the camera, I should say. So here we go. Let's open these up in um, RAW. I only took five from the sequence, probably because I was getting bored at this point, or I was getting cold. It's really cold in Joshua Tree in the winter, by the way. So we'll go up here, a little aperture button. I'm sure you all know that, but we'll open it up. Okay, just double checking there to make sure I had the images I wanted. Um, so here's our uh, base image. I'll show you just quick and dirty how I normally uh, adjust my images in ACR. Um, first thing I like to do is just get the color balance right. It's best to do it in camera, but I never seem to get it uh, right in camera, so we have to do it now. So I like to jack up the uh, saturation to 100% to just give the colors just some really, really good pop so you can figure out uh, where your temperature needs to be. I think right about there is good enough for our purposes. I'll leave the saturation bumped up just a little bit. Um, I think the exposure is just about right, but I'm going to add a little bit of fill light to our shadows. Just a little bit. I don't want to give it that horrible, disgusting HDR look that everybody abused in 2009. Um, let's see what happens if we bump the contrast. Looking pretty good. A little cool, maybe. Bump that back up. Um, I like to put a little more uh, clarity in there, which is a micro contrast adjustment to bring out a little bit more of the fine details. Um, Importantly for Star Trails, what we want to make sure we have correct is that all the images that we're opening in Photoshop that we're going to stack all have the same color balance or approximate color balance. It really shouldn't change unless for some reason some dark clouds came along and screwed your image up anyway, but then it probably wouldn't matter. So we're going to hit select all, we're going to hit synchronize, um, make sure that everything that we've adjusted on that first image is clicked off here. I'm going to go ahead and assume that it is and hit OK. Normally I'd hit open images, but um, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm not going to do that. I just have saved smaller JPEGs because it's much faster for Photoshop to stack those. So I'm going to cancel that and open up in Photoshop my five images. So once we get all our images open in Photoshop, you can see the stars moving. We're missing one. Um, Looks like I'm missing 47. That would leave gaps in your star trails. There she is. Okay, so to stack the images and give it that star trail look, we're going to go to scripts, statistics, and for the mode we're going to choose maximum. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure that that just means that we're going to take the brightest pixel from these five images and just merge it all into one image. So we're going to add our open files. There are five, that's good. If we had a problem with our alignment, we could probably check that, but I always get my stuff lined up perfectly. <laughs> um, just kidding. Anyway, so hit OK and let Photoshop work its magic. Sometimes this process can take forever if you're using really big images or if you're trying to stack like 70 images together. It's one of the reasons why I like to shoot during a full moon is because you don't end up with 300 raw images that you have to now manage. Um, just too much damn data. From here, we got some sort of smart image. I don't even know what the hell that means. But I'm just going to flatten it out because I don't need that data. 
So you can see now that we have our star trails, um, kind of a before and the after. For me, I don't like the look a lot of the times that uh, Maximum does for the foreground terrestrial images. So oftentimes I will find my favorite foreground and then mask that onto this final image. Um, I think I like 50 the best. I like that there's a little bit of shadow and brightness over here. It adds a little bit of texture to it. So what we'll do is we'll control C. It's something on a Mac, but don't ask me because I don't know. I think it's that Apple button. Um, control V. So now we have a new layer. So then we'll make a mask. Layer mask right there. We need to paint off this guy, so we'll switch back to black. Grab our brush tool. Here you're going to want to have like a nice big soft brush. That looks like a hard brush. Let's put that right there. There we go. And then we'll increase the size. Oop, that's way too much. That's too little. God damn it. There we go. And then we'll just paint back our sky to reveal the beautiful star trails. If I was going to print this really large or somebody wanted to pay me for this image, I'd make a much better mask, but you get the idea. So, if you want to watch a masking tutorial, watch a masking tutorial. Um, it's not really what this is about. Um, what is nice, though, is you should note is that you can also use this layer mask for uh, the sharpening of the foreground without, you know, sharpen, you want to sharpen the uh, star trails. If you over sharpen it, it gets, uh, they get jagged looking. So from there, we would just hit uh, layer flatten and boom, we'd be done. Uh, well, thanks for checking out my uh, first tutorial. That's how I do my star trail images. Feel free to uh, swing by uh, my website or any other uh, places and say hello.